off light switch effect. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. You mentioned his name over the last few days and she looks at you like you vomited on her foot. Well then, I guess it's off, huh? BKG, Sydney Water Police to release launch nemesis. Yeah, this is the police launch nemesis. Go ahead. We've had a report of gunshots at Chowder Bay. Please investigate. Yeah, copy that. We're on our way. You see anything? Nope. It's quite as cut the angle gander, mate. Hang on, hang on, there's something over there. You see up near that rock, the flat one? Now, repeat, urgent ambulance assistance for two boys, now. He's still breathing. Is he all right? Yeah. But you're gonna be okay. We're gonna get you out of here now, okay? Signed you, it happens. But I applied for the geriatric care attachment ages ago. Sophie, I know they've assigned you to Docs. It's the name of the game. It's just I'm not actually all that good with all this community welfare stuff, and I know it's part of my training. Ah, but... yes. Well, Docs is not as cushy as geriatric care. I know. I didn't apply because I thought it'd be easy. I like most old people. You know, for somebody who doesn't want special treatment, you certainly ask for a lot. All right, I'll look into it. Should you be on the milk run? His, uh, his head, his hand. He was a real mess, the poor kid. What are the Ambos reckon? Well, they said one would be OK, but the other one was a bit touch and go, and I guess now we're waiting for the hospital to call us and let us know. God, where would kids like that get a gun from? Good bloody question, Soph. Hey, Quinn! Looks like someone's in trouble! Serial number's been filed. I'll do some acid etching, see if I can pull it up. And if you turn up any filings, bring them in pronto so the metallurgists can match and date them. Sure. Mm. 
Somebody must be a mess. This whole barrel's blown out. Yeah, two boys. The names are Oliver Barnes and Joey Renshaw. Oliver caught some shrapnel. Joey caught the head injuries. He lost a hand. Still in hospital, unconscious. He must have been the one who fired it. See, this wasn't a gun. This was a bomb waiting to go off. You fire real bullets from this thing, and sooner or later it's going to explode. So why is that? Well, it's an American cult, 1911, 45. It's been in service 80 years. A lot of Aussie troops souvenired them during Vietnam. So possibly Australian Army. Listen, what's going to make that one explode, Renee? Simple. It's not kosher. The slide and the barrel aren't part of the original gun. Yep, St Clair. They're from replicas. Toys. Toys? You know where the kids got okay, this thing? Yeah. No, but we're going to find out. Hey, Michael, that was the hospital. Oliver's ready to chat. Do you want me to go and...? No, I'll meet you at the hospital, Elle. Hey, thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. So did he say where he got the gun? Uh, his mate Joey's house. They were watching old movies, John Wayne apparently, and Joey says, my dad's got a gun like this in the movies. So they actually pinch it and they take it and fire it, eh? Yeah. Joey uh, wanted to fire at some, some bottles and it was Oliver's idea to take it out in the bush and fire at birds. Right, Oliver fires it twice, Joey has a turn, boom. So how is he? He's still unconscious. A piece of shrapnel went through his skull. The doctor said it's still too early to know if there's permanent brain damage. Oh. All right. Uh, Mr. Renshaw, we need to ask you some questions. I'll come back. I need to ask you these questions down at the station, Mr. Renshaw. Is that okay? Nice tan, Vanessa. Uh, thanks. A ring. Well, why can't you guys look for it? You're the diver. Look, I've got all these break and enters I've got to catch up on, would you? You know what the odds are of finding something like that, I don't I know that, but could you just try? I mean, this girl was really upset that she'd lost the ring. Have you spoken to Blakemore? Well, she doesn't know won't hurt her, will it? Yeah, and if she finds out... Please, please help me. You put the thing. No. OK, I'll do it. But only if I get time, right? Appreciate it. You're going to die for it. Oh, well, I don't know. Perform a public service. Come on, it was an engagement ring. I mean, if Eva lost her engagement ring, how would she feel? Gavin, this wasn't Eva. She was probably spaced out of her brain, walked off the end of the wharf, and then made up some story to cover for herself when she realised we were cops. Okay. She's a junkie. Well, so that automatically makes her a Lara as well, does it? Yeah, and just because she pops a few pills, so it doesn't mean she's a Lola. No, I'm talking track marks. Didn't you see the scabs? Which Gavin, is... break and enter. Yep, so okay, no we're gone. Today. We're gone. Just upstairs, thanks, Mr. Renshaw. Hey, who's this? Oh, Joey Renshaw's father. It was his gun. What? Bloody idiot. So where did you get it from, Mr. Renshaw? Um, it was in a pub in Marrickville about five or six months ago. Do you remember who sold it to you? No, I don't know. Some bloke, I don't know. I can't remember his name. I didn't get his name. Come on, you can do a bit better than that. Look, look I, was, I was working for this electrical mob. I had an argument with the boss. I got the sack. I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I went to a pub. Uh, it's a, uh, it's the, the railway hotel. I met at the railway. So you went to the railway hotel to buy a gun? No, 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 no. no. Look, look, look. I was, I was, I was angry. All right, I was. I, I, um, I, I got drunk. I got more angry. I was probably telling everybody what I wanted to do to my boss. You know, next thing I knew, I, I, I bought this gun. I it didn't. Okay, I you didn't, wanted to shoot your boss no, because no, he look, sacked you. No, oh, oh, look, I, I was smashed. All right, I was drunk. Look, I was just going to wave it round under his nose and try and frighten him. That was all okay. I was ever going to do. Okay, did you do that? No, no. I, 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 look, I woke up the next day, I took one look at the thing, I hid it. Right, so I, where I did you it. hide the gun? In the shed. Right. Look, 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 Julie, I, I, she didn't know anything about this. I didn't tell her. I, I, I forgot all about it. Okay, so this guy that sold you the gun, what does he look like? Oh, I can't remember. Come on, Mr. Renshaw. You know, you bought a gun because you got sacked and you were going to use it, OK? And now you don't know where you hid it. You don't know where you got it from. Yes. You don't know where you bought yes. it from. Yes, yes. All right. My son is in hospital. It's my fault. 
Uh-huh. Renshaw didn't tamper with it? Well, he says not, Chief. But we're going to oh, check yeah. his house, uh, we'll check his shed. I mean, basically the yeah, works, but... Mm. Why would somebody bodge up a gun like that? Well, it could be the fact they didn't have the original parts, okay, or it could have been you. deliberate sabotage. Yes, or just greed. So Good old greed. Use cheap right. parts, pass Bye. it off as a genuine article. Mm. What's the story? A uh, ballistics got the serial number off that gun. Now, it's one of eight Colts stolen just over a year ago from the army base at Wagga from the display of memorabilia. How do they get guns past the security of an army base? Well, it's easy if it's an inside job. OK, did he give you a name? He sure did, Sergeant Frank Truscott. Now, apparently, he was in charge of ordnance. Now, when he left a year ago, stores went missing. The guns? Well, they couldn't prove it because he wasn't fingered for the guns, right? But this Major reckons that he's not surprised that these guns went missing the same time that Truscott left. So we've got to go all the way to bloody Wagga? No, 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 no. I just checked this out. His, his pension is sent to an address in Dover Heights. Want to drive? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Yeah. Catch a bit of sun there, did you, Chief? Sure did. Yeah. Hey, you look a bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. Send me another demand notice. It's really not going to make any difference, is it? This is Truscott. Who wants to know? Uh, Detective Riley, Detective Sinclair, Sydney Water Police. Oh, that's a relief. I thought you were from the bank. What is it, Mum? We're looking for Frank Truscott. He's not here. Do you know where we might be able to find Frank? Yep. Try Rookwood Cemetery. He's dead. I can't believe you're making me do this. I mean, why can't I come on the Nevy with you guys and check out the break and enters? We got you off desk duty, didn't we? We can run along and have a good time with Woodsy. Sure. While she searches for a ring which probably doesn't even exist. Come on, let's go. I haven't got all day. Hey, um, so maybe you should try helping this girl out, huh? So it seems to me you've got more of a monkey in your back than most of these junkies do. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe if you'd watched one of your closest friends ride herself off in a year, watched her lie and steal and finally kill herself, you wouldn't be too fond of druggies either. Yeah, OK, Soph, but you cannot afford to let your personal life get in the way of your work either. Come on, Sophie! Maybe you should just try learning that first, huh? Frank's been dead about a year. The place was left to him by his parents. It's pretty hard to keep it up on a widow's pension, let me tell you. Bloody army, they should have told you he was dead. So why did he leave the army? He <laughs> didn't quit, he was given the heave ho. They forget to tell you that too, did they? They'd be right. What, what happened? Some major had it in for him. And Frank for some supplies going missing. What sort of supplies? I mean, tools, stuff like that. They actually made Frank the scapegoat, didn't they? Frank actually reckoned it was the major doing it. Bastard. I reckon that killed him in the end, yeah. If I didn't need the money, I'd tell them where to shove their lousy pension. So you didn't tell me what you were looking for? We just wanted to have a look around. Do you have any photographs of your husband that we could take away with us? I suppose so. What for? This is a nice setup. Yeah, it's Jason's now. He's going to be an engineer coming top of his class. Do you mind if we take a sample of some of this stuff that's on the bench, Mrs. Truscott? It's just for some comparisons for an investigation. And what's it got to do with Frank? Well, we're not quite sure yet. Hey, those are mine. Sorry. Did your father teach you how to build these? Nah, they're school projects. Right. Uh, what did your father do in here? Fixing things. Yeah, guns. So, do you ever remember your father owning any guns? He had a rifle. Yeah, any other sort of guns, like uh, handguns? He had a rifle. And he blew his brains out with it in here. Is that what you wanted to hear? I wouldn't search too hard. The ring probably doesn't even exist. So don't be like that. You got a problem with this? Well... Yeah, we're not a salvage company. No? You're not even a cop yet, are you? Saw you arrive. We got a place over there. Well, no, let's play haystacks and needles. You watch the sun, right? So what are you? Work experience or something? What? Are you work experience? No, I'm on attachment. Training from the academy. Now go into uniform and onto detective. Oh yeah? Got it all planned, have ya? Yeah, I guess. So do I. Get married, have a kid, settle down. Not as flash, but it'll do me. Oh yeah, I, I'm on a program and I'll get my fiance on it too. We'll kick the stuff before we go for a kid.
drive you to it. If you find anything, your mate's got my address. Thanks. Yeah, it's our pleasure. This guy, have you, um, you know, stopped him before? Maybe someone else gets hurt, and um, you know, maybe it might make what, what happened to Joey make a bit more sense, you know, especially to my wife. She won't even talk to me. Um, I'll show you out, Mr. Enshaw. But, um, thanks for everything you're doing, but I appreciate it. I do. Can we call the hospital? Oh yeah, of course. Right. It's not surprising. I mean, that army guy's been dead over a year and he bought that gun five months ago. So you think there's a middle man? Well, there has to be, otherwise it doesn't make sense. In the suntans? Yes, and I've got the feeling they're thinking plenty. Um, I just rang the hospital. Joey Renshaw's not doing very well, I'm afraid. Oh, poor kid. I'm off to ballistics, guys. You might want to go down to casualty at the hospital instead. That was homicide asking about your case. They found another exploding gun. Thanks, Donna. So it was your husband's gun? Like I told you, Dave was pissed. Then he said he was going to kill me. Then the little bastard pulls this gun. Oh, we fight, goes off, and I get this, and a bit of the barrel went right through his belly and I couldn't stop the bleeding. He died before the ambos come. It was an accident, but poor silly little bugger. Mrs. Hoskins, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, but we really need to know where your husband got the gun. Oh, I know where he got it, all right. Off that flaming brother of his, bloody Graham. That's a lot of bull. That bloody woman, look, I told her, Dave, I said to him, don't marry that cow, she'll drive you to the grave. And now look. So you didn't give him the gun then? No, I never gave the gun. Where would I get a gun from? Melt a car down? Look, I didn't give him a gun no matter what that bitch Brinda says. So why do you think she pointed the finger at you? Well, she's paranoid. She's sick. Look, I hate her guts. Dave hates her guts. I said, get rid of them. I meant divorce her, not shoot her. Thanks, and it's the last door here on your left. See you tomorrow, Vanessa. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See. Yes. See you tomorrow, Jeff. That was the trust cuts, wasn't it, mate? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was, Chief. And listen, we ran our car wrecker, Graham Hosking, three cops. Um, he's got a record, uh, mainly for stolen goods. He's in a couple of stashes in a pub. Also got some photos here just to show the trust cots, see mm. if any of those faces ring a bell. No, it's very good, yeah, it's, um, it's excellent, Mick. Uh, where's Alex? Julie, please, come on. God, I didn't leave the gun there on purpose. I mean, how else I know Joe was gonna... This is all out. your fault, Stuart. Oh, God, come on. It's all your fault. <laughs> Sir, so, um, I need you to look at some photographs. I never saw Frank with any of these men. Never. Not that I remember. Jace? No, nah, me neither. Are you sure, mate? Look, come up here and have a closer look. Yeah, really I'm sure. I'm sure. Are you sure? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. This guy here. Are you showing me him before? Uh-huh. 
I can't remember. I was drunk. It's OK. It's OK. Thanks for trying. You should get back to your wife and son. What do you think that was, Nick? Joey's dead. I'm sorry. He's died. He's... You did bet the house that uh, this little baby didn't exist. Give her a break, Kat. You okay? Mm. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon's going on with Hawker and the custody officer? Oh, I hate being talked about. Seriously. Nice, nice ring. Good mm. diamond. Wow, that's bigger and better than ever. Yeah, you should go around to the address she gave you and give it to her. Mm, if it's her real address. Oh, look at that. Sophie, why don't you go and buy a drink for that monkey in your back too, huh? Odyssey number five. Yeah. See you soon, though. See you. Now we're looking at the second gun. There we go. It's the same deal. You can see there where they filed off the serial number again. I removed some of the paint and I worked my acid magic on this one too. 72602. Oh, it's the same batch as ours. Okay, um, did you get any results on the filings that I sent into you, Renee? Oh, sorry. I haven't made it into metallurgy. Homicide turned up the heat over this second gun. And they tend to have more therms than you lot. So this gun fired first shot, according to the surviving victim. So if the army's right, then there's six more of these guns out there. Yeah. Well, we're not going to get an amnesty on these guns. It only takes Parliament to do that. By which time, how many more people get blown up? Well, we thought maybe a press release. You know, dangerous weapons, have a photo, say, call police or crime stoppers. Worth a shot, pun unintended. Helen? Yep, I'm onto that one. Yeah, last night I left my gun here. I mean, I've been taking it home and putting it in the safe, but with my nephew there and my sister, it just doesn't seem right. Yeah. Brings it home to roost, doesn't it? You any closer to nailing anybody? No, nah, not all, Chief. But Alex and I believe that Hoskins is a fence. Hoskins? The scrap metal merchant? Yep. I mean, we don't have much proof or any real proof, especially not enough for a warrant. All right. Well, keep me up to speed on it. No worries. Mick, this is the report on your filings you got from Hoskins. Well, it seems to confirm what we've always suspected, that Truscott stole the guns from the army and he's having been butchering them. Now, look here. He died over a year ago and these files are less than three weeks old. Somebody worked on those guns, Jason. Recently. How did you find out about them, Jason? I just found them in the workshop. Well, what do you mean you just found them? Hello, sweetheart. Mrs. Truscott, please. Did your dad tell you where they were? No. He was dead, wasn't he? I'm sorry, Jason. Some of these questions are going to be difficult, but we have to ask you. Did your father teach you to replace the missing parts with bits from toy guns? No. Like, I figured it out myself. I'm good at engineering and stuff. But you couldn't tell the guns could explode. Jason, two kids are injured by using one of these guns. One of them died. I'm sorry. Jason, look at me. Now, the only person who would have bought these guns from you had to be a fence, a crook. You know what I'm saying. Now, what we have to do is find this person, trace down all the guns, and make sure that nobody gets injured or gets killed again. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I only sold them because Mum need Mum needed the money. I, I, I said I found a wallet, but... I asked these older kids who hang around under the bridge, they're street kids or something. I asked, I asked them where to go and like sell stuff. They said to try this man, his place. For the record, Jason Truscott is indicating the photo of Graham Hoskins. Helen, Helen, can I ask a favour? It depends. Uh, Frank Truscott suicide a year ago. Could you look into that for me? Certainly. OK, thanks. Why, have you got a bit of a niggling feeling about it? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Just any information you can pull on that, anything would be great. OK. OK. 
Hey, uh, you heard the rumours? What rumours? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. What rumours? Okay. About the, uh, the boss and, uh, Vanessa. Ah, oh, those rumours. No, I haven't heard a thing about those, but if I did, I'd keep quiet about it if I were you. Yeah. It's littering, you know. So, you're gonna arrest me. What happened to your face? My fiancé wasn't happy about me losing the ring. You got it? We got it. Here you go. Thanks. That's a, it's a lovely inscription you've got there. Sorry? Uh, my wife, she had a look at it last night. It says, Jay loves P. Now, obviously, you're the Jay, and your fiancé's name is... Russell. Bastard. No wonder he told me never to take it off. He gave me a second-hand ring. No! Well, here we go. Janice with a J and Philip with a P. Anderson. Break and enter from their launch about three weeks ago. They lost cash, a radio, and some items of jewellery, including one engraved engagement ring. Yes. yes. Shit. Great, we let her walk away. Oh, we still got her address, though. Well, Gavin's gonna spew. The new requisition forms? You'd better suit up, Woodsy. Oh, come on, I've already found that bloody ring once. <laughs> you know where she threw it, it's evidence. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes open, Matt. The last robbery happened around this area. Yeah, likely place. Have you told the owner you've lost the ring? Nope. I told her to come and get it tomorrow. That'd at least give Woodsy a chance to find it again. Well, that'll wipe the grin off Sophie's face. Yeah. I don't know what it is with Sophie, mate. I hope she's understanding. Hey, have a look at this. Hey! Stop! It's the water police! I think you're in for a run, mate. He's right. Yep. Go, Matt! BKG, you need water police to police launch nemesis? Yeah, this is police launch nemesis. Uh, look, we can't talk right now, we're a bit busy. I've got the owner here. About her ring? Ah, great. Hey! Hey! So you shut that gate! I'll get you, smart ass. You do it again, and you'll stop up, and I'll get you. Shit. The evidence. You people don't have much respect for man in mourning, do you? you think I would be stupid enough to have any guns or to have them here? And if I did, you think. This might be able to find them. Look, any surviving guns at this stage are just icing on the cake. You've already been identified. Yeah, I bet. Why don't you put your photos under somebody else's nose? Right. So we won't stand up in court. People are dead, Mr. Hoskins. It's no longer just a matter of stolen goods. Come on. Man sells toaster, toaster fries punter. It doesn't make the sell of the fryer, does so it? So you did fence the guns, did you? No, I keep telling you I know nothing about guns, okay? Hey, watch it there. Those panels are valuable. Maybe you should use a metal detector. Sure. So do you drink with anyone in particular? I drink with anyone who drink with me, darling. Stuart Renshaw, does that name ring a bell? What? Right. What, you're selling one of your home rigged guns and then his 13 year old goes and blows his brains out? I don't know what you're talking about. No, you do know what I'm talking about. Five months ago at the railway hotel, he was pissed as a newt. You get him off. Yeah, come on, Mick. He's not going to tell us anything. Come on. Well, that's just great, Mick. You find no evidence on the premises and you end up with a complaint laid against you. What about his home? No, there's nothing. I mean, if Hoskins is reselling guns, then they're long gone. Well, I don't know. What are we supposed to do? Wait till somebody else gets killed or maimed? I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Alex, I've done that favour for you. Oh, excuse me. No warning and no note. Mr Truscott walked into his workshop one day and blew his brains out. Nobody heard the shot, so nobody reported it. And it seems his wife found him later that day. Coroner's report is absolutely clear. It was suicide. So what's the problem, Alex? I don't know. I don't know. There's just something. I don't know where he got it. I told you. I thought it was new. Then I thought it was second hand. Why are you protecting him? I want to know. 
He didn't hit you because you lost the ring. He hit you when you told him the cops were looking for it. What would you know? Come on, Jenna, we're just trying to help you here. Yeah, well, forget it. I don't need your help. He stole the ring. You honestly think him giving it to you is an expression of love? Doesn't even respect you. You think I need you to tell me that? Who'd buy something for someone like me, huh? Who'd respect someone like me? I mean, look at me. I don't even respect myself, do I? I know what you think. When he gave it to me, he said he bought it to match the sparkle in my eyes. <laughs> and I chose to believe him. Just for a bit. Even crap outs like me want something good in their lives. I guess it looks like my so-called fiancé isn't that something, huh? His name's Russell. Russell McBain. Thank you. Let's look him up. OK. All right, if we grab Graham Hosking's photo past every patron in the railway hotel, someone's got to have seen something. Okay, because in the last six months he's sold what eight guns. No, we don't know that he has sold the guns in the pub. Okay, this guy is not stupid, Mick. Okay, he's smug, but he's not stupid. Well, we've got the trust. No, we got we've nothing. Tried... We haven't got anything. Okay, this guy is right. We have nothing. Detective Saint Clair. Thank you, thank you for coming. He's in his dad's workshop and he won't come out. Okay. He's just so upset about that little boy dying. Yeah, yeah, I know. Please, I'm just so scared he's gonna... It's OK, it's off. OK. What if he's still got one of those guns? Jason? Hey, come, come in. It's not locked. Hey, how you doing? Mum's been crying. Yeah, well, she's, she's worried about you. So am I. You want to have a little chat? It's all your dad's stuff. Yeah. He kept it like this. Like new. When he... After... There was all this blood. Mum spent two days scrubbing it. Like it'd be black. He didn't take that stuff from the base, the stuff the Major accused him of. But he got angry, you know. Is that why he stole the guns? Because they called him a thief? Is that what your dad told you? Nah, he didn't tell me about the guns. So your your mum found the guns when she discovered um, found found your found your father. No, she didn't find him first. I did. I, I came in. We we're going to work on a model together, but he was all. It's okay. It's okay. There's all these the guns were on the bench, all covered in blood. Oh, there was blood. A note. He left a note. I took it and hid it in the toolbox under the tray. And I got the guns, wrapped them in some plastic and buried them right back in the garden. And I got on my bike and took off. I waited for Mum. Why? Because I didn't want her to know. You know, she, she needed him to be honest. She needed that. I couldn't tell her. I just couldn't. What should I do with this now? I'm sorry I stole these. I was angry at the time. Now I'm just tired. They said I was a thief, so I obliged them. They might as well shoot me. I'll do it myself instead. Poor kid. Mm. Looks like trouble. Is your boyfriend Jetta? Yeah. Right, let's go. Excuse me, sir. Is there any water, please? I told you I'd get you. Bastard! Jetta, no! Come here, hands behind your back, please! Breaking me arm! Oh, you little bitch, eh? You sold me out, didn't you, huh? You lied to me. About everything. 
everything. You lied to me, Russell. I didn't need to lie to you, you stupid cow. You don't know what's going on around you half the bloody no, time. About ah. the ring. Loving me. Hey, back off! Who's gonna love you now, eh? You little slut. Jenna. Yeah, you got her. Oh. Suits me. Be okay, sweetheart. So, what happens now? Well, the courts will have to make some decisions. Mm. All that inside him. Trying to protect me and just... bottling it all up. I rang that poor Mr Renshaw, you know. Tell him how sorry I... And how did you get his number? Oh, I found it at the hospital. I said that, you know, that Hoskins Blake was as much to blame as my son. Uh, no, 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 Miriam. Did you mention Hoskins to Renshaw? Well, he asked me about it. I said he was the one who should be locked up, you know. One. He sold all the others. Mm. Any leads as to who to? No, not as yet. What happened to you? Oh, I just slipped and fell over in the junkyard, Chief. Well, you should be more careful. Yeah. Hoskins is ready for interview. Thank you. Right, well, uh, <clears throat> let's see if we can find these guns, eh? It's not going to be easy, Chief. He's using those guns as his bargaining chip. It's a pity we can't threaten him with a murder charge. Yeah, I know he's not stupid. He knows the best we can do is manslaughter, if we can get that. I mean, he's probably going to get away with what, uh, possess and sell unlicensed firearms. Well, do your best. Yeah. Get fish hungry, Chief. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <clears throat> can I help you, Sophie? Um, yeah, it's my community service assignment. I haven't heard any word yet. Hey, look, Sophie, I know you're disappointed about the geriatric care option falling through. No, 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 I, I was actually going to say, leave as it is, whatever. I mean, I know we can't always pick and choose. I should get used to that. So we'll leave it at docks, will we? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Gavin seems to think it might do me some good. I've got a monkey I need to murder. Is this sunscreen lotion meant for me? Oh, no, Sophie brought it up for Woods. For Woods, on my locker. If you want to play silly buggers... I'm not. I saw you, Donna, at the bar last night, mouthing on about me. Come on, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. Yeah, thought so. You'd be right to get that over to ballistics, Al? Yeah, of course, Nick. <sighs> hey, listen, um, that was really nice, covering for Renshaw. I just have to brace up on my grief counselling, hey? Yeah. All right, Al, you'll be right. Yeah. All right, see you. 